I just want to give a, a little bit of a testimony, really, as to uh, the time I was informed that my great 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 uncle Claude Rainier Conda uh, was in fact uh, the person to have discovered this other possible site as being the tomb where Jesus was laid and also where he rose from which is just over the road from the garden tomb which is just there on the right so this is the convent so the white sisters are looking after what my ancestor Claude Rainier Conda actually found this tomb and thought it was more appropriate there's the sign here let's have a look okay it says Nablus Road 112 Monastery and uh, the White Sisters okay let's see it doesn't actually say anything here about Conda's tomb but this is it this is where the site is so somewhere behind there where I tried to get in one day is where the white sisters have the cave or the tomb where Jesus was laid according to my great 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 uncle it's only a few hundred yards from the garden tomb which everybody has come to know and to love and to appreciate but just down the, the road literally you have uh, a place where the nuns of a particular order have taken on the responsibility of guarding if I may say this particular tomb which my great uncle Claude Rene Conda uh, discovered. And when I found out, um, I was with my cameraman Tom and uh, researcher, and we went to knock on the door of this particular establishment. Very high walls, big iron gates. No way of getting in, you had to ring the doorbell. So I rang the doorbell and I explained to her why we were here uh, because my uncle had uh, discovered this uh, as a possible site for Jesus' burial and that you were guarding it and could I have access to it because I'm um, uh, a relative of his. Anyway, we were invited inside uh, the building and we were waiting for a decision as to whether we could see and film the site uh, or even see it. I, I said I'm, I'm not after making it public if, if that's you know an, a sensitive issue. And I, and I said, okay, I just love to, to see it. It's, it's something that my uncle had discovered all the you know 100 years ago or so. So anyway, I'm waiting for a decision and we're waiting in the reception. And eventually a decision was made and uh, the nun that came down uh, the stairs and into the reception area said to me, I'm very sorry, um, but we're not going to be able to allow you to come and see the tomb. And I said, uh, well, I was disappointed. And I said, but you know what? I respect that because if this is the actual site where Jesus was buried, then I can understand why you're so protective of it. Why would you want to commercialize such a, pl a, a precious place? And I think that gave for me a feeling of uh, that maybe my uncle was on the right track and that this in actual fact was the correct place for Jesus' burial. And but I just felt, you know, this is, this makes sense to me. I don't know whether you can understand where I'm coming from here, but, you know, why commercialize it? I always think it's, a, it's nice to go and visit these uh, biblical sites. I mean, it's such a precious place where Christ was laid to rest. All right, he was resurrected from this place, which is great. But these nuns, I don't know, I think they have it right.
to it protected at all costs. It's so precious. Uh, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And uh, so I suppose we'll never really know the truth of where Christ was buried. But does it matter? Does it? Let me know. Write to me. Thank you for watching.